He is known for his role as a French composer, critic, scholar, and teacher. He is recognized for his best-known work, the orchestral piece The Sorcerer's Apprentice. His name is Paul Dukas. In the world of music, there are legends that leave an indelible mark on the field. One of those legends is Paul Dukas, a French composer whose brilliance and talent continue to captivate audiences today. Dukas was not only a composer but also a critic, scholar, and teacher. His studious nature and intense self-criticism led him to abandon and destroy many of his compositions, but his surviving works are a testament to his genius. Perhaps Dukas' most famous composition is The Sorcerer's Apprentice, an orchestral piece that has become a beloved classic. This piece has achieved such fame that it has overshadowed his other works, including the opera Ariane et Bar Bluey, his Symphony in C, and the Piano Sonata in E-flat minor. Dukas also created the variations, interlude, and finale on a theme by Rameau, as well as a ballet called La Perry. Each of these compositions showcases Dukas' unique style and musical prowess. Dukas' music was influenced by a variety of composers, including Beethoven, Berlioz, Frank, D'Indy, and Debussy. He did not align himself with any particular musical faction in France but managed to earn the admiration of both conservative and progressive musicians. His compositions pushed the boundaries of traditional music, incorporating innovative techniques and harmonies. In addition to his composing career, Dukas also worked as a music critic, contributing regular reviews to numerous French journals. Later in life, he took on the role of a professor of composition at the prestigious Conservatoire de Paris and the École Normale de Musique. His influence extended beyond his compositions, as he taught and mentored a new generation of talented musicians, including Maurice Durifel, Olivier Messiaen, and Joaquin Rodrigo. Paul Dukas' legacy as a composer, critic, scholar, and teacher is undeniable. His compositions, especially The Sorcerer's Apprentice, have left an indelible mark on the world of music. His ability to transcend musical factions and his dedication to teaching and mentoring future generations of musicians have solidified his place in history. Paul Dukas will forever be remembered as a legendary figure in the realm of music. In Paris, Paul Dukas grew up in a Jewish family as the second son. His father, Jules Dukas, worked as a banker, while his mother, Eugenie, possessed a talent for playing the piano. Unfortunately, when Dukas was just five years old, his mother passed away while giving birth to his younger sister, Marguerite Lucy. At the age of 14, Dukas started to show an interest in music composition while recovering from an illness. This newfound passion for music prompted him to take piano lessons. However, it wasn't until he turned 16 and entered the Conservatoire de Paris in 1881 that his musical talents truly began to blossom. At the conservatory, he studied piano under Georges Mathias, harmony under Theodore Du Bois, and composition under Ernest Girard. It was during this time that Dukas formed a close friendship with fellow student Claude Debussy. During his time at the conservatory, Dukas composed two early overtures, Gets de Berlichingen and Le Roy Lear. Although these works were relatively unknown for many years, the manuscript for Le Roy Lear was rediscovered in the 1990s, leading to its first performance in 1995. Despite not winning the top prize, Dukas achieved several accolades during his time at the conservatory, including second place in the prestigious Prix de Rome competition for his cantata, Velida, in 1888. However, feeling disappointed by his failure to secure the top prize, Dukas decided to leave the conservatory in 1889. After completing his compulsory military service, Dukas embarked on a dual career as both a composer and a music critic. This allowed him to further develop his skills as a musician while also providing critical perspectives on the works of his contemporaries. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.